Ever pondered how we humans evolved from being hairy, tree-swinging primates to sophisticated beings with an exceptional taste for avocado toast? Picture this, the dawn of time, a landscape filled with nothing but the raw beauty of nature and, of course, our ancestors. Not the kind you'd invite over for tea, mind you. They were a bit more... her suit, and their table manners left much to be desired. These early humans were a bit like your cousin Steve at a family picnic, always grunting, scratching and picking things they probably shouldn't. Their daily to-do list was rather straightforward, survive, not find the best Wi-Fi spot or get that coveted promotion, but simply survive. Their mornings didn't start with a warm shower and a cup of artisanal coffee, but with a quick check for any lurking predators. Imagine that being chased by a saber-toothed tiger before you've even had your first cup of joe. And their diet? Let's just say they wouldn't have been caught dead in a vegan joint. Their idea of a five-star meal was whatever they could catch, kill and not die eating. So we can safely say the paleo diet was born out of necessity, not a desire to fit into skinny jeans. Speaking of attire, early humans didn't have the luxury of a walk-in closet filled with designer clothes. Their fashion was more of a one-size-fits-all approach, with the latest fur pelt being the height of sartorial elegance. And forget about online shopping, their version of click and collect was more like hunt and gather. On the bright side, they never had to worry about Wi-Fi signals, phone battery life, or remembering countless passwords. Their biggest concerns were more along the lines of, is that a bear and did I leave the fire burning? So, from dodging saber-toothed tigers to dodging traffic, we've come a long way, haven't we? Fast forward to the Stone Age, when man discovered fire and the joy of BBQ parties. Ah, the Stone Age, a time when rock music was literally rocks clashing together and stone cold was a compliment about your latest flint spearhead. Picture this, one day, Grog, the caveman, is sitting around, minding his own business, when he accidentally rubs two sticks together and voila, fire is discovered. Now, we don't know for sure if it was Grog, or maybe his neighbour Thog, but whoever it was, they soon realised that not only did fire keep them warm and scare away the saber-toothed tigers, but it also made their mammoth steaks taste a whole lot better. Thus, the world's first BBQ party was born, and it was quite literally lit, and the culinary innovation didn't stop there. After a few too many burnt fingers and singed eyebrows, our ancestors quickly realised that fire was not something to be held. So they invented the first skewer. Imagine the scene, everyone around the fire roasting their food on sticks, and someone says, hey, this is like a prehistoric kebab. Well, we can't be sure that's exactly how it happened, but who's to say it didn't? And speaking of groundbreaking innovations, let's not forget about the wheel. There are rumours that the first wheel was just a round rock that someone found amusing. But from that simple round rock, we've evolved to sleek sports cars and gigantic jumbo jets. It's hard to believe that the same species that once thought round rocks were amusing now prefers a Tesla for their daily commute. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Stone Age wasn't all about fire and wheel. There were also the first attempts at art and music, and let's not forget the invention of the first tool, the hand axe, which was essentially the Stone Age version of a Swiss army knife. From rolling stones to rolling in Teslas, talk about a wheelie big leap. We've come a long way since those days, but it's always fun to look back and see how far we've come. Then came the agricultural revolution, when man said goodbye to hunting and hello to farming, and gluten became the new enemy. Imagine one day you're out there, spear in hand, chasing a mammoth down a valley, heart pounding in your chest. Fast forward a few centuries and you're peacefully tending to your wheat fields with the biggest threat being a swarm of locusts or a bad weather forecast. Ah, the simplicity of life before gluten. Our ancestors must have thought they'd hit the jackpot. Why risk life and limb chasing after mammoths, they must have thought when we can just plant some seeds and watch the food grow. It was the dawn of agriculture, the birth of civilization, and the beginning of our complicated relationship with gluten. Now let's not be too harsh on gluten. It's just a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. It's what gives bread its fluffy texture and pasta its chewiness. But somewhere along the line, gluten went from being a dietary staple to public enemy number one. And now, we have entire supermarket aisles dedicated to gluten-free products. Oh, the irony! 
we went from hunting mammoths to cultivating crops to becoming so sophisticated that we've developed an intolerance to the very thing that fueled our evolution. It's like we've come full circle just without the mammoths and the spears and the risk of being trampled to death. But let's not forget, gluten intolerance is a real issue for some. It's not just a trendy diet fad. For those with celiac disease, gluten can cause serious health problems. So, while it might seem ironic to us, to them, it's no laughing matter. In the great tapestry of human history, our dietary habits have woven some interesting patterns. We've evolved, adapted and changed our ways more times than a chameleon in a tie-dye shirt. And yet, we're still figuring it out. From mammoth steaks to gluten-free bread, our dietary evolution is quite a grainy subject, isn't it? Next stop, the Industrial Revolution, where we traded in our plows for machines and child labour became a thing. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, the Industrial Revolution? That's when we got all those fancy machines, right? Well, yes, but there was a bit more to it than that. The Industrial Revolution was like that awkward teenage phase of humanity. We had all these new toys like steam engines and mechanized looms, but we didn't quite know how to handle them responsibly. I mean, one minute we're churning butter by hand, and the next we're cranking out textiles faster than a rabbit on caffeine. It was a wild ride, let me tell you. And let's not forget about the irony of it all. We spent centuries perfecting machines to do our manual labor, only to turn around and pay to use similar equipment in gyms. I mean, who needs a treadmill when you've got a perfectly good cotton gin, am I right? But hey, it wasn't all bad. The Industrial Revolution did bring about some pretty significant changes. For example, it introduced us to the concept of working hours. Before then, the only clock we had to punch was the sun. Now we had factory whistles to tell us when to start and stop. I guess you could say we traded in our sundials for time cards. And let's not forget about the sweatshops. Ah, yes, the sweatshops, where we learned that child labour isn't just for farms anymore. It was a bit of a low point for humanity, but then again, so was the mullet. And we survived that, didn't we? So there you have it, folks. The Industrial Revolution in a nutshell. It was a time of great change, of progress and innovation, but also of exploitation and injustice. But hey, at least we got some cool gadgets out of it, right? From tilling the fields to treadmill workouts, we've certainly put a spin on hard labour. Mm. And now welcome to the digital age where life's all about likes, shares and the endless pursuit of the perfect selfie. An era where our ancestors' spear-throwing skills have been replaced with the ability to snap a photo from just the right angle. A time when going viral no longer refers to a plague, but to a catchy dance move or a cat playing the piano. In this epoch, we're more connected than ever, yet paradoxically more isolated. You see, we've traded smoke signals for Wi-Fi signals, and rather than gathering around a fire, we gather around the blue light of our screens. We've swapped cave paintings for Instagram posts, a platform that's become less about sharing memories and more about flexing your brunch game. And let's not forget the relentless quest for online validation. Remember when a thumbs up was a sign of approval from your fellow Neanderthals? Now it's a heart-shaped icon that fuels our dopamine rush. Oh, and how can we ignore the advent of selfie culture? It's a phenomenon that has us risking life and limb for that perfect shot. I mean, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to Instagram it, does it make a sound? But it's not all doom and gloom. The digital age has brought us some wonderful things too, like the ability to connect with someone on the other side of the world, or the power to access virtually any piece of information at the touch of a button. It's given us cat videos, and let's be honest, who doesn't love a good cat video? So from cave paintings to Instagram posts, our need for self-expression remains unchanged, only now we call it doing it for the gram.